Hello guys and welcome to a new video and welcome to my home studio. Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So we're trying something different today. I'm opening my doors and welcoming you guys into my studio. In another beautiful Argentinian wind today. I don't know about you guys, but I'm in Argentina right now and we're on day 102 of quarantine. It is 4 degrees Celsius outside and it's pouring down. So this is where I spend most of my time now. So what's the point of this video, you may ask? A lot of you guys are hitting me up on Instagram asking me, how do I make my videos? How do I grow my channel? But you don't really actually put out content. And yes, I've heard every excuse in the book. I don't have space, my room is too small, my lighting is really bad. I don't have any money, my phone is really old, I don't have a fancy camera, I don't have a fancy lighting, I don't have a fancy studio, and it's all boring. So let me show you what I do with most of my videos. Come on. Okay guys, you ready? Here we go. So this is us walking into the studio. As you walk in, this is what you see. Here on the right, you can see my CD collection, or some of them anyway. There's a lot of classics and a lot of metal here. And right above that, we have my baby, my Brian May replica guitar. I love that thing and it sounds awesome. I'm never gonna sound like Brian May, but it gets me a little bit closer. It's also easy on the eyes, isn't it? That's where I don't do pull-ups. <laughs> and that's the AC. I have it in heat right now because it's really cold outside. Okay, let's get back to the guitar wall here on my left. Let's see what we have here. There's a couple of Les Pauls, a Gibson acoustic, two Jacksons, and an Ibanez five-string bass. We also have a table and a bar stool that I want and a Fender contest. There used to be a couch here, but I decided to put in a table because a lot of times we need to write stuff down, especially during lessons and recording sessions. And it's also a great place for beer. Okay, moving along. That's my bookshelf right over there. I love my books and I love to sit down and read every chance I get, but I don't do that as much anymore since I got rid of that couch. But it's also a great place for storage, inside and on its side. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, so on that little nook on the left-hand side of it, I keep some of the stuff that I like to put away, but I need to have handy at all times. There's my LED light, my mic stand, and also there's a cell phone stand that I've bought and hardly ever used. There's also an overflow of books there. <clears throat> now moving along, on the top here we have my sort of shrine to my soccer team that I love. Also here we have the full Queen discography and some Brian May and Freddie Mercury solo stuff. Yeah, I'm a Queen fan, did I mention that yet? Okay, so here we have my guitar maintenance shelf. I have some tools that I use all the time, some books, some music Noma cleaning supplies, hex hider tools, and also you can see my GoPro there. I was gonna use it for this video, but it was gonna make everything look bigger, and that was not the point of this video at all. I also keep my picks here, and I keep some pen drives for additional storage in case I need them. Moving away from that, you can see it's not really that big a space. I keep most of my guitars here with some padding so that I can protect them and I don't get so much sound bouncing off of the walls. There's my late 2009 iMac. And right next to the desk, I usually keep a guitar stand with whatever guitar it is that I'm working with. So there's my classical guitar and my clip-on tuner that I use mostly. Let's see, what else is here? We have some cabs, some amplifiers. Do we dare enter in? Yeah, it's not that bad. Let me show you. Um, here we have just some random stuff, a box of guitar strings, box of cables, every kind of cable and tape you ever need is here. Some newspaper articles that I was featured in, some bass strings, guitar straps, just random stuff that I want to keep away from sight. And there's my Sony headphones that a lot of people have borrowed because they forget to bring their own headphones to the studio. There's Digital Performer 7, some power supply, there's Pro Tools back there, I can see it. Um, a box with casters, battery charger, some business cards, some random AAA batteries, USB cable, screen cleaners, and yeah, that's basically it. There's also my sunglasses, and here's my wall of amplifiers. We have the Line 6 Spider 3 that I used a lot. Uh, my triple rectifier and that box head is awesome, it's a Nitrine 15. It sounds killer for the money. 
There's also my Line 6 Wagner head that I take on tour. And on top of that, I keep my straps and a headphone. Of course, I have a lot more straps than two, but I end up using these two all the time. And on this wall, we have more guitars. There's a couple of Fender Strats, a Kramer from the 80s, and an Ovation 12 string. There's also a Brian Moore MIDI guitar that's pretty awesome. I am going to do a video on my guitars because you guys voted for it, but not today. I don't want to make this video too long and boring. Okay, let's see what else is there. We have two um, Gibson hard shell cases that I put up there because I don't have any more room in my closet. And this little retro box is where I blast my vinyl. Here you can see my small vinyl collection. And this is where I play my CDs also. And just a quick shout out to all the bands that send me their material so that I can play that on the station. I'll be posting a lot more stories about that soon. Here we have my amp rack with all my studio gear. And I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but everything is basically connected to the patch bay up here on the top. So everything is basically connected to the computer. Down here we have my um, camera bag and some hard shell cases for my head and a pedal board. We have some pedals on the bottom, some microphones, uh, MIDI stuff, preamp, noise gate, reverb, and a lot more stuff. Up here I have my power conditioner and um, this PV multi effect. And this is my desk. I like to keep a clean desk, as you can see. There's my monitors and just a small mixer. And also there's a plant here. It was just, it was a gift. So I just got to keep it on water for like a couple of weeks and then put it away. And there's my iPod. It doesn't get much use nowadays that we're quarantined, but yeah, I like to listen to music whenever I'm outside. And you're probably wondering about that little mixer. Let me show you. So this little retro box has got two built-in speakers, but they're really tiny. So they don't really get a lot of bass going. So I rigged it up so that I can come out of the headphone jack straight into the board. And from that, I am plugged into the monitors so that I can listen to that in full HD. Pretty awesome, right? And this, this is Luigi the Cat. You've seen him before. He loves to hang out in the studio and I love that he does. So he's great company. He loves to eat pet too. And he loves to eat. Oh yeah. Well, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And um, if you can, just drop me a comment. It really helps me out with the YouTube log rhythm. Make sure you drop me a like. And you can always follow me on Instagram. Metal on dudes. Pat out.